Hey, what's going on guys? Fetch Tech Cup here. So the Infinix S5 and the Techno Carbon 12 are the hottest devices from both brands. And in so many ways, both devices have driven so much momentum for their respective brand, even though both fall under the same umbrella, Transion. There's no denying that these two are the most talked about smartphones, especially in the Nigerian market. So in today's video, I'm going to compare the two side by side to see if there are any similarities between the two, because they look nearly identical. And to also see which is the best overall device so to help you make that purchase decision. Right now both devices stay as a flagship device to each brand even though they are budget devices. I would say this is the best you can get today from each brand. Before we jump into the comparison video, please kindly hit on that subscribe button to join this awesome family and turn on your post notification so you get alerted when I upload a new video. The Techno Camon 12 set itself as a camera centric device and that's what the Camon series has always been right from inception. The Infinix S5 on the other hand follows slightly in that direction because it has so many camera hardware than even the Camon 12. I feel its main selling point is a camera and that's what the brand wants you to see. So which is a better device among the two? Which takes the best pictures? What are the features you look out for when opting to buy a smartphone, especially a budget smartphone because this segment is well saturated and sometimes one can get confused on the right one to get. About the design and build quality, both devices don't disappoint here. As I said in my full review video, hold on, if you haven't seen my full review video on both devices, I would advise you pause this one right here and go watch this one first. Links in the description box below. Both devices are very beautiful, they are well made and they are pleasing to look at. The S5 is a little heavier than the Camon 12. It weighs about 178 grams while the Camon 12 comes in at 170 grams. There's a substantial difference in weight distribution between the two and that's because the S5 comes with a 6.6 inch display while the Camon 12 is slightly lower at 6.52 inch. Of course, they look nearly identical. What set the striking difference between the two is the Infinity O display on the S5 and the teardrop notch on the Camon 12. From behind, they look basically the same. The Camon 12 comes in three different color variations which is Dawn Blue, Dark Jet and Sky Cyan. While the Infinix S5 comes with just two color variants which is Quasau, Cyan and Violet. So the Infinix S5 and the Techno Camon 12 packs an IPS display. They are sharp with vivid colors, watching YouTube videos on these two devices are very okay. The Infinix S5 offers a little more screen real estate than the Camon 12 with a slightly bigger display and the Infinity O display gives you that immersive viewing experience. They are not the brightest if you use it in direct sunlight but they are among the best in the budget display segment. Performance is similar across the board on both devices and that's because both phones pack similar specification. Same CPU which is Helio P22 octa-core processor, same GPU, same RAM size and storage. Gameplay on both devices offer similar experience, browsing the web, social media activities and basically day-to-day -day tasks is ok on both phones and the experience stays the same. The user interface stays the same on both phones and sometimes I wonder if there's any need to worry about a specific brand to choose a device from between Techno and Infinix. You get basically the same thing on both phones apart from some minor tweaks here and there. Both phones pack a 4000mAh battery and they are both impressive. Endurance rate is high on both phones and they can comfortably endure for a day and a half. The Infinix S5 and the Techno Camon 12 comes with a modern authentication method which is face unlock and fingerprint scanner. They work effectively well and there is no complaint or whatsoever here. Now let's shift our attention to the area that matters the most to most people, which is the camera. This is where you begin to see some notable difference. On the rear, the Infinix S5 packs a 4 camera sensor while the Camon 12 comes with just 3. The fourth option on the Infinix S5 doesn't mean so much. It is an unknown sensor for now, which I believe it's a QVGA camera for low light detection. So the Infinix S5 packs a 16 megapixels main sensor, a 5 megapixels auto white sensor, a 2 megapixels depth sensor, and a QVGA low light sensor. The Camon 12, on the other hand, packs something similar, which is a 16 megapixels main sensor, an 8 megapixels auto white sensor, and a 2 megapixels depth sensor. So. Since they pack similar sensor, does it mean pictures taken on them will look similar? Let's find out. Okay guys, when it comes to the rear camera on both devices, I would say images on both phones are sharp with good amount of details, especially if the lighting condition is good. I tried as much as possible to look for any possible difference with these images and I couldn't see anything different between the two. 
High dynamic range looks the same on both phones, contrast levels, highlights and the exposure stays the same on both phones. The only area I was able to see a slight difference is in the ultra wide angle images. The Camon 12 ultra wide angle images has more details than the S5 and that's because the S5 uses a 5 megapixel sensor for its ultra wide images while the Camon 12 uses an 8 megapixels camera. Image processing, color balance, saturation level and high dynamic range stays the same on both phones. Switching to the front camera changed things a lot for us. The Techno Camon 12 does a pretty decent job with the selfie images. It is sharp, well saturated and has the best overall color reproduction. The Infinix X5 selfie images are decent as well, but the images look flat in comparison. Colors are not that vibrant, it is not as pleasing as the Camon 12. However, it produces more detailed images than the Camon 12 and that's possible because of the high megapixels count on the S5 which is a 32 megapixels, while the Camon 12 has a 16 megapixels. The S5 lacks a bit when it comes to good color reproduction. Portrait shots are pretty okay on both phones and I would say none is better than the other. The images have good edge detection and a satisfying portrait selfie on both devices, but they lack those punchy details on the portrait shots and too much of overexposure. Both phones record video in 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second with no video stabilization. So your footage will always stay shaky most times unless you get yourself a tripod or a gimbal. The video quality looks okay on both phones but the Infinix S5 video introduces some noise and grains in its footage while the Camon 12 stays clean and sharp. When it comes to how each device handle color, I would say they perform about the same. As you can see, they look very similar in almost every category apart from the slight camera edge the Camon 12 has over the S5. So now the question is, which of these devices will I recommend? Well, I can't really say one is better than the other, but if I want to lean towards one or if I want to pick one out of the two, it will definitely be the Camon 12. I like how light it feels, it has much better selfie and a little more affordable than the Infinix S5. But apart from that, every other thing stays the same on both phones. If you have any interest in purchasing any of these devices, you can use the link in the description box below. It will help support the channel in a way. Okay guys, share your thoughts to me in the comment section below. If you're given the opportunity to pick one out of the two, which will you pick and why? Like and share this video to help someone make a purchase decision and thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye bye.